we got another beautiful trout here. Let's get a release on him. My pole is in the water. <laughs> Oh gosh, I slipped, fell, dropped my pole. These rocks are so slick, I can't. Oh. I'm lucky my gulp got stuck on something in the water and my pole luckily didn't go floating down. Ah. Oh. Ah, hey, yeah. Try to the day. Just got back in the water. There we go. Hello. All right, guys. So before I get too far into this video, I'm just gonna go over my favorite wintertime lure, just straight up. Um, there's several reasons for it. I'll get into that in a second. Um, I made a video last year around this time about my uh, trout fishing techniques in the winter. Um, I use the exact same lure. In that video, I kind of talked more about reading the water and what to look for, more so than the lure itself. So I decided I'd make a video where I go into the lure itself. I've got Andrew catching a bunch of, they're actually wild brown trout, on this gulp. So you guys should like it. Um, so, whoops. Here it is. Ta-da! Um, the reason this is my favorite lure is because A, it looks like a minnow. It's got some scent, and it says right there that it outfishes all other bait. There, done. No, but in all seriousness, trout, just in general, they like minnows, um, so it's just a good bait all year round, period. Uh, I found that it's particularly good in the winter, and the reason being is that fish in general, trout included, when the water gets down into the 40s and 30s, which it is about this time of the year, and it's gonna stay that way up probably through March, is their metabolism slow down. So they become lazier, they don't have to eat as much to get what they need, the, to get the calories they need. So they're not gonna move much for baits, they're not gonna chase spinners out into the current to catch them, or to eat, to, to get a meal, they're not gonna chase things out in the current. They're more likely to be sitting on the bottom out of current. They're lazy this time of the year and that's just how it is. And these gulp are perfect because you can literally cast them out, use a little weighted jig head, which Andrew will show you in the video, and you just bounce it off the bottom. You literally want them on the bottom, bottom contact, bounce, 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 and you're literally gonna be hitting the fish in the head is the gist of it. And they eat it almost every time because it is a minnow, looks like a minnow, smells like a minnow, tastes like a minnow. I mean, you really can't go wrong with it. But as long as you guys keep that in mind, the fish are lazier this time of the year. So they're not gonna move much for bait. So if you keep that in mind, there's a whole host of lures that you can use that will work perfectly fine. You can slow roll spinners. Um, what's another one? Hair jigs, any, any type of jig will work well. I just personally like the gulp. It's also because I am partially because I am a smallmouth bass fisherman, was, I should say. I fish smallmouth all the time. It was one of my favorite lures for smallmouth. And I kind of just transferred it over to trout and it worked unbelievably well. And for all you guys that stock trout fish and stuff out there, 
I'm, well, when I'm making this video, it's about two months away. By the time this video posts, it posts, it'll probably only be about a month out before they start stocking. One of my favorite lures to stock trout fish with too. I mean, they eat it up. I was surprised. I didn't think they'd really go for a gulp and started using gulp and I was catching fish all over the place. So just something for you guys to keep in mind and I hope you like this video. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We got more videos coming up, both fly fishing and spin fishing. So yeah, share the channel around. I wasn't even recording because I wasn't even in really a good hole, but here we go. Another nice brown trout here. Let's see this guy in hook. Look at this guy. Another oh. These brown trout might not be giant, but they're very pretty. Let's get a release on this guy. That's a good one, guys. Oh my gosh. This came out of nowhere. I thought I got stuck on the bottom right there. I looked in the water and I saw a trout sitting there. Oh. I did just kind of horse that one in, but. Pretty good trout right there, guys. Yeah. The nice brown trout, probably about 15 inches. show you guys how I rig this just real quick so you have to go up here I just take it right through the top of the head there push it in and you just go to where you so you want to make it flush with the it's kind of straight so you don't want it to all bunched up or something but there it is that's simple Just lost one, guys. Pretty good one, too. That's disappointing. Hey. <coughs> now my gulp is so screwed up that. One trick that you can also do with these is they get they get messed up after about every fish you catch. You just flip it over on its back and go like flip it over and hook it the other way. It's not perfect, but it'll work. I messed up that chance. Coming at me. It's not as big as the other one I had, but it's not bad. Good night, buddy. Came way up there. Over here. Oh, yeah, guys. There are nice brown trout right there. Beautiful.
See, turned the gope upside down and it worked. Now it's really destroyed. <laughs> well, now I'm gonna get a, one more fish if they're really feeling it. Yeah, I was chasing it. Look at that. Normally I don't fish downstream like this, but I really didn't have any other choice because I couldn't get below the hole, but it worked out this time. Now he's gotten wrapped up on the line. There we go. There guys, look at that trap. Let's get this up there. A nice trap right there. This guy go here. Done. Well guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I have ran out of gulp now. I just broke off right there. But give the gulp a try. They're very good in the winter time here when you want to sink your bait down to get to where the fish actually are, like holding in these deeper pockets. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on another episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures.